and welcome back. This is Boscobo with more Let's Play Secret of Mana. I am joined, as always, by Jake and Yancy. Shion is not with us at the moment. Hopefully, we can get her back relatively shortly. Let's head down here, and hopefully, something important will happen here. There are guards. They must be guarding something good. What are you doing back here? Help! Rats have eaten all the food! We're finished! Not all the food! Wait, wasn't it you that- Yeah, you ate it! Freaking Yancey! What the hell? Consider yourself a rat. Can't say you're far off. Massage my back! I'd rather have my gum scraped! That's- That's not that painful, actually. That's not that bad. Spoiled brat! I oughta- I, I swear, gum scrape happens like every uh, every six months at the dentist, doesn't it? Whatever. Mori, how dare you? But Grandpa, she's being a... Uh, oh, yeah, she is kind of being a bitch, isn't she? Your pathetic woman, get out of here. This is not the kitchen, jerks. I'm not glad to see you. They've escaped. This is your fault, Gramps. I, um... Escapees, grab them! And I can't really move here, but we do have our party back together. What the? The Empire! Let's surrender! You idiot! You're no soldier! Two arms! No way, we're with Mori! This is what happens. With freaking cronyism, man. Nepotism. Never works out! How you doing, buddy? Surrender! They, they did. Nuts! They surrendered nuts, apparently. Are you gonna say the same thing? Yeah, d seriously, just just a little bit different conversation between the NPCs would be would be much appreciated. You have anything to say? I can't even talk to you guys. So let's talk to the big man with the green hair, Geshtar. Didn't think I'd see you here. You must be the ones Thanatos warned me about. How about a little game? And by a little game, he means boss time. So long, jumps. This is a boss fight. We are up against uh, Neck Rider as soon as I can find him. There he is. Jeez, he is not an easy man to find. He, I don't think he's weak to anything, so I might as well just... Wait, what am I doing? I don't want to do that. I want to use uh, Gnome. I want to use Jim Missile. Wait, speed down? No, Gem Missile. Yes, there we go. Gem Missile. Go, Gem Missile. Missile. And Jake has leveled up. He leveled up his, his, uh, jeez. He leveled up his fighting ability with the gloves. Do not hit me with that. Are you kidding me? We're doing that much damage to him normally? I don't even need to really use magic in this fight then. Uh, actually, let's let's switch his weapon now. Why not? Um, I don't remember what else we need to do. So let's go with the claymore. That sounds good. I don't like the the gloves anyway. Oh, casting speed up again. He's increasing his evasion, his hit percentage, all that good stuff. But I'm still doing like 50 damage to him normally. Get back here! Damn it, Mech Rider. Why are you so annoying? Damn it. Just, yeah, running's not worth it because by the time I get there, I... Well, I can't get my charge off. There we go. 123 more. Another 56. And his speed is back to normal. How did I miss there? What, he was like turning so I can't hit him while he's in the middle of turning or something? See, almost dead. Down he goes. That is really a pathetic boss fight, to be honest with you. That is not difficult at all. But down he goes. Way to go. And we get all our HP back. And we got an upgrade for the whip. The whip's orb. How you guys doing? Let me know if you need jobs. That doesn't sound good. Go north of the kingdom of Kaka. Kakara, then west to the Fire Palace. We still haven't made it to Kakara, by the way. This is just a sand desert. Well, most deserts are sand. Anyway, my beautiful ship, shameful. Dude, what a mess. Everyone's run away. Watch your Gemma's friends, then you're 
I must apologize for my grandson's actions. I had almost forgotten how true soldiers act. What? He almost forgot. Okay, he's obviously banging himself for the for the hiring of, of his own grandson. What are you gonna do? Grandsons are, are never good at anything. I'm talking to you, whoever is listening to this. You're a grandson, aren't you? You're no good. A rescue team's coming. Are you leaving? Uh, no, let's talk to everybody. I think there's one more person I wanted to try to talk to here. Nope, that is the same guy. They're all roaming around free roaming. That is not cool game. Um, yes, now I am ready to leave. Go north. Okay, but now I can actually leave, which is nice. We are back in, um, jeez. On the screen with the ant lions, I should mention about the ant lions. Ant lions are actually real. Uh, why man, was nice enough to send me a link to a Wikipedia page. I didn't know that. Um, ant lions, they do exist. Um, most of the pictures I saw were in the southern United States, which would probably explain why I've never seen them. But um, they're they're insects, uh, so they're they're clearly not this big. Uh, they're these are obviously oversized. Yeah, we can uh, use a cure here. Um, I, I guess in the south, though, they're called doodle bugs, which is probably why I've never heard of them. But I have heard of doodle bugs before. Did he move, or there's another one? There's another one. Uh, th this is like their larval state, from what I understand, and they turn into kind of moth-ish things uh, wh when they're fully grown. So this it's just a very strange uh, thing that we got going on. And another weapon skill has increased. Now, I believe I, we just need to head up here. I, I was thinking of some other thing where we need to actually go through a pattern. Uh, yeah, we're done. We're do I'm not taking on ant lions anymore. They take too damn long. We have made it to the town of Kakara. How you doing, buddy? Yes, thank you for welcoming me. Hey, but this place is large and empty. Salamander is my friend, and you're his friends. That makes us friends, too. Uh, I did not arrange for that at all. I don't want to be your friend. You look kind of strange to me. How you doing, buddy? Will it be? Yeah, and here is the shop in the middle of nowhere. What are you gonna do? I don't think uh, there's anything here that I want to buy, to be honest with you. Um, I forgot what we were on, but uh, the upgrades here are not that that great. Not, nothing substantial that I need to go for just yet. Um, and I probably do need to re-equip. Hey, there's the cannon. I probably do need to not re-equip. Uh, repurchase some of the uh, items to make sure that I am full again and the place is low on water and here is Watts how you doing Watts it's been a while he's about to pass out from the heat that is no good how are you getting to all these places Watts he is supposed to be the only Watts you know the the canning guys they're all supposed to be brothers this is just Watts all right let's upgrade the whip we definitely need to do that. Uh, so now we have the chain whip. Pretty basic there. Uh, but it is definitely an upgrade from what we had before. Otherwise, I shouldn't have paid money in order to get it. Our wells have run dry. I have seen that. I think I'll move to the ice country. I heard there's a town as warm as this one there. Nope. I got the little fire spirit that makes sure that doesn't happen anymore. Amar, fairy walnut. Oh, please, huh? You mean... Well, you were talking about the mana seed, sorry. I wasn't really talking at all. I'm one of those silent protagonists. Watch out for monsters when you return the seed. Yes, of course. Yes. We will always be looking out for monsters. They follow us wherever we go. Uh, they're already thanking me for bringing the mana seed back, even though I technically have not done that yet. Uh, now, I do need to rest at the inn just to make sure that I have everything that I need. I'll purchase everything at the, the shop in terms of items, no armor or anything like that. And I will change everybody's, well, weapon. And we'll be right back.
Okay, all healed up. Didn't need to purchase any items as it turns out, but I did move the weapons around. Now I got Jake on the Parson, and I've got Yancy still on the Rising Sun. Very, very close to finishing that one off, though. And Xion is on the Chalker Hand. We are now free to move on yet again, and by moving on, I mean going the same way that we entered. I'm probably not even going to bother killing anything here. Uh, there is there is nothing here but the spider legs, which are ant lions. There's no other way to put it. They're doodle bugs, so let's avoid them. Yeah, doodle bugs, they are not big. They eat ants, and that's like a struggle for them. But we do have new enemies down here. We have the Mad Malas, Ma Sergeant Ducks. And there, Yancy has leveled up her its boomerang. I keep on wanting to say her for whatever reason. It is genderless, and if anything, it's a male in this game, to be honest with you. Uh, let's move over to the longbow. I think I need to work on that still. And this ant lion, freaking spider legs, he is freaking annoying. There's no other way to put it, but I'm pretty sure you guys are, are used to having me complain about annoying enemies in this game by now. Pretty much all of them. Is it dead yet? Uh, there is a very specific pattern that you need to go through here. I don't believe it gets you lost, but there is a certain place that you need to go. And so we have gone down uh, from that first screen, so down twice from Kakara, then we go left, and this is the path that we want to go to. We're still not there yet, still a ton of freaking sand pits around here. Um, the sand pits, they don't, they're not like quicksand with the, the ant lines, which is weird. And then there is a pumpkin. I have no idea what that pumpkin is, to be honest with you. I don't know what it's called. Pumpkin bomb! There we go. It is a pumpkin bomb, um, which is, well, pretty straightforward. But it doesn't always show up around here. Sometimes I struggle getting it to show up, but there it was. 